Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Options Mentor. What we did have, if you did the trade I showed last week, a successful week there. But the week we're coming into, it could be really, really more raucous. Let me share my screen here than what we had last week, which was, let's face it, this past week in the SPX was a bit of a snoozer, wasn't it? And uh, not a lot happened. Why? Because this coming week is just loaded with data. CPI will come out. An hour before the market opens on Tuesday, big inflation number that the market watches, the Fed watches. PPI will come out Wednesday morning. Uh, the producer price uh, inflation number will come out an hour before the market opens. And then later Wednesday, we'll have a Fed announcement on a rate decision and the Fed press conference. Of course, the market, and I think pretty much anyone would expect, they're not going to raise or cut rates this week, but the market will definitely be looking to what their forward guidance is, what the chair says at the press conference. And of course, the market will will have an opinion on how much influence they'll feel that the CPI comes out Tuesday and the PPI on Wednesday before that rate decision comes out. So this could be a very big news week. So anything you do, I would definitely do a little smaller uh, as there could be a lot of movement. But I want to show you a trade uh, idea. Now, I will say this. Don't get too head up on this and think, holy cow, I can't possibly lose. This graph is not obviously not accurate, right? There's no trade where you're never going to lose. However, it shows it that way. And really, your main enemy in this trade would be if volatility would drop very much. Well, let's look at it. We have the VIX at 1235, lowest it's been in over three years, right at it. So I'm not too much afraid of it. Even if the market got good news and took off, I don't think that people would be too likely to sell off protection. I think they'd still be worried about the next thing coming forward, especially if the market moved big off the CPI. Hey, we still got the PPI and the Fed ahead. So I don't think that volatility will drop even that much, if at all. Even after all that news comes out, in fact, it may even rise and probably will rise into it. So what we're going to do here is put on a long Vega trade. I'm showing here it's a trade idea where we're doing a double long diagonal. Double long diagonal means that the longs of this trade are closer to where we're trading than the shorts. If you take a look here, this double long diagonal, is you buy the 4640 calls for the 18th of December and then you sell this Friday the 15th the 46.55. So actually it's about 15 points above the money where you're uh, above where you bought the long. And the long of course is closer being at 46.40 to where we're trading. Currently we close at 46.04. Then the short is on the put side, same thing. We'll buy that closer short at 45.80 and then sell the 45.60. Gives you a really wild looking graph. But I think if we particularly get big movement, I think you're really going to be in good shape on this trade. Like I said, the main enemy here will be volatility going down much against this. I just don't anticipate that probably happening. There's really probably no real adjusting this trade. I suppose if you go way up here, you might as well take the lower one off. It'll be worthless anyway. Same thing down here. So this is kind of a trade that, hey, you're in it. You just punch out whenever you have a profit level that you think is appropriate or, or loss at the same time. You know, however you want to play that, uh, you can set your own profit numbers, loss numbers, but I would encourage you to have those. And like I said, just expect, expect the unexpected this week in a way, unless you're expecting big movement. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that unexpected. So um, this is just an idea here. If you want to do it smaller, uh, you can do it in SPY, same setup, except you'll, instead of be going uh, going um, uh, 20 points below, you'll go $2 below and you could go a buck and a half or maybe $2 above uh, with the call side. Uh, that's how you can do it in the SPY, be a little, be a lot smaller, be about a tenth the price. So that's what I got for this week. Good luck, everyone. No matter what you're doing, I would definitely be a little smaller this week because I we just don't know how this is going to shake out. Probably the last big news week of the year as we head into the end of the year. And we'll get a, a lot of uh, strange movements usually in the market as the, the big funds try to window dress 
uh, for the end of the year so that their first quarter, they can say, hey, we were in this, we were out of that, whatever it may be. So there'll be a lot of um, styling what's in their funds uh, to look good to investors. But this week, I think this is a solid idea. If it makes sense for you, if you understand it, as always, trade on paper. If you don't understand this, you shouldn't be doing any trades that you don't understand fully. That's just foolish. You should paper trade until you get uh, some good skills at trading. And uh, even if you did do it, and let's say you're a very skilled trader, I wouldn't do this trade very large. But uh, everyone, have a good week. Good luck out there. And I'll be back with you next Sunday to talk about the following week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.